Hi, this is Virgil in Finland, and today we're going to talk about how to calculate the half stop increments and one third stop increments when talking about f stops. So, for the impatient ones, if you have seen my other video, you know that in order to change the amount of light getting into the camera, we need to either multiply or divide the f stop number by the factor of the square root of 2. Now, if we want to make a jump of half of a stop, is the fourth root of 2, and if we want to calculate one third stops, is the sixth root of 2. But now let's get into some more details and why is it so. First, a couple of details related to terminology and really basic math. So the square root of x is the same than x at the power of 1 half. And if you think about it, if you have x squared and you make the square root of it, and you just have x, correct? That's because you're having x at the power of 2 divided by 2. In practice, it means that the z root of x is x at the power of 1 divided by z. That's in terms of terminology, so I'm going to be interchanging the power of fractions instead of using the roots. The other thing is how to write that into a like a scientific calculator, into a spreadsheet. So we use this accent. So basically, x, this accent, 2, is x squared. x, this accent, parenthesis, 1 half. It's x at the power of 1 half, which is the square root of x. So these are the really basics. If you see some formulas here, they're going to be really simple, but that's the reason. Now, uh, we showed in the other video why to go from one stop of light to at one stop of light, the jump in f-stop is basically multiplying by the square root of 2. I made the whole video, so please go and watch that one. Now, somebody asked in the comment, rightfully so, hey, you're talking here of full stops, and you said at the beginning that uh, the lenses are always 1.4 or 2 or 2.8, and here I'm looking at my lenses and it says 1.7, there are some lenses which are 1.8, I have some lenses which are 2.4, some of them are 2.5, so what's up with all of that? And what kind of factors do I need to do that? Because it's not clear. That was an excellent question, and I'm trying to answer it now. These f-stops, which is the maximum aperture of that lens, they are either half-stops or one-third of a stop. But now let's go and how to calculate it, and let's go and find those numbers, really. So now let's make a jump, which is a one full stop of light. And we're going to jump from 1 to 1.4. Or really the square root of 2. To get from here to there we are multiplying by the square root of 2. Now the question is how do I get to the half of it? And think about it this way. By which factor do I multiply this number twice so that I get into the same result? So we would have had that one stop of light. Now simply put it so we have this number multiplied by x multiplied by x is that one there, right? So we actually know that x squared is actually the whole jump. And if x squared is the square root of 2, or in other words, x squared is 2 at the power of 1 half, what do we do with this? So basically, if we divide the power in the both sides of the equation, now we have x at the power of 1, which is x. And on the other side, we have 2 at the power of 1 fourth, which is the fourth root of 2. And now let's do the same but with thirds. So if, again jumping from here to there it's a square root of 2 multiplication and here I'm now multiplying by y and y and y because they do three jumps. Now what we have is that y cubed has to be the square root of 2. And again let's do the same. If I divide the powers in the each side of the equation by 3 now I have y is 2 at the power of 1 sixth, so the sixth root of 2. And that's how it goes. Now, how do we get from here to those numbers, the 1.7, 1.8, 2.4, 2.5, 1.2, etc.? We know already that the square root of 2 is not 1.4, so that's an approximation to one decimal. But let's get to the computer, let's open a spreadsheet, and let's try to find these numbers. So, first, let me show you that in fact, 
the square root of 2 is the same thing that 2 at the power of 1 half. So here I'm going to put the square root of 2, as you can see the positive square root of a positive number, square root of 2, and here I'm going to have 2 at the power of 1 half. And as you can see, these two are the same thing. Now we just described that the factor to multiply the f stop by, if we talk about full stops of light, is the square root of 2. So here we're going to put the 2 at the power of 1 half. Now let me write parentheses to make sure that everything works fine. Half stops, we're going to do the 2 at the power of 1 fourth. And if I put equal, it works better. And third stops, 2 at the power of 1 sixth, for the reasons that we just described. Now, now if I multiply 1 by this factor, and we're going to put here the dollar sign, so we are staying in the same row of time, that we have the 1.4, right? And now if I go down with this, let's go up to here. So the jump was from 1 to 1.4, 2 to 0.8, 4, 5.6, etc. Now let's do the same, but with half stops and thirds of a stop. So this is 1 times this factor, this is 1 times this factor. And if I copy this two downwards, we'll see what happens. Now what we have is 1, half of a stop, 1.4, half of a stop, 2, half of a stop, 2.8, half of a stop, etc, etc. On one third of a stop, we have 1, one third of a stop, 2 thirds of a stop, 1.4, one third of a stop, 2 thirds of a stop, 2, and so on, and so forth. You can see that here the jumps are one full stop, here the jumps are half stops, and here one third of a stop. And now still, where is my 1.7, my 1.8, and my 2.4? Well, let's take all these columns and let's change the decimal points. So let's make them shorter, 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 up to just one decimal. And here you can see that we would have 1.0, 1.4, 2, 2.8, 4. This is rounded to 5.7, but we usually see the 5.6 in the lenses 8, 11, 16, and 22. And usually we're done. If we're jumping half a stops, we have 1, 1 1.2, like the Olympus Pro lenses, 1.4, like this Sigma F1.4 that I'm shooting right now, 1.7, like the Panasonic lenses like 45, 42 and a half millimeter, the 25 millimeter, etc. F2, F2.4. I believe I have a review of a lens that I can't remember the brand. I'll try to put the link here, which was F2.4. 2.8. Usually the rounding is 3.5, and many zoom lenses start there, and so on and so forth. And when we see the half stops of light, now you see some familiar numbers as well, especially F1.8, which is a very common maximum aperture for some full frame lenses and we also have some other lenses for other systems like the Olympus we have I think the 25 17 and 45 millimeters f1.8 from Olympus then we do have the 14 millimeter f2.5 from Panasonic and so on and so forth so the reason for those numbers is of course the rounding but now you've seen where that 1.7 comes that's half a stop between 1.4 and 2, and where 1.8 comes, which is two thirds of a stop more than, or less in this case than 1.4, and it's just one third of a stop less than f2. So hopefully this spreadsheet uh, gymnastics helped a little bit to understand this number as well. But now let's wrap this up. All right, so in my previous video, we saw why is the square root of 2 what we need to multiply the f-stop to change in one full stop of light. We were talking about going from 1 to 1.4 to 2.8. Now we saw which are the factors that you need to multiply things to move in half stops of light, which were the fourth root of 2, or in thirds, which was the sixth root of 2. And that's where we get those other numbers 
that are between 1 and 1.4, or between 1.4 and uh, 2.8, etc., etc. So hopefully this clarified a little bit further. Thank you very much, Joe, for the question in the previous video, because I think that some people might have had either the confusion or thinking that I wouldn't know how to make these smaller steps. So I think that this might clarify some of those things. Hopefully you find this video nerdy. Sorry. Hopefully you find this nerdy video. Hopefully you find this video interesting. If you did, please like and subscribe. And we're gonna see you soon for some.